We're going down into the valley to the city of Cajamarca. The police don't want to talk to us about the investigation of Ismundo's murder. The family's suspicion that the Yanacocha gold mine is behind the murder has caused a stir. With the help of a reporter, we get an appointment with the public prosecutor who is responsible for the case. He recognizes that there was a conflict of interest between Esmundo and Yanacocha. El objetivo que hemos podido percibir es que eh, Esmundo Becerra Cotrina era un ganadero. De la It's certain that Esmundo Becerra Cotrina kept animals in the region and was dedicated to his job. For this reason, he considered it necessary to defend the environment. As a herder near the Anacocha mine, if the mine were to expand, it would have cost him his livelihood. Si el proyecto minero se expandía, iba a desplazar de su actividad. Se había identificado a, a personas de la misma zona que eh, habían sido quienes han disparado contra el mundo becerra. Y People una de from estas this region have been identified as as mundo becerra's killers, and one of them was named Rinaldo. After he was identified by the family members as Esmundo Becerra's murderer, the police got involved and said that he resisted while he was being arrested and that it ended with them killing him. The one who shot Esmundo Becerra was killed himself. That means that there is a chain of murderers. And it's not clear why they happen or what's behind them. This person, Esmundo Becerra's murderer, Rinaldo, is known in the region as a bounty killer. Someone pays him and he kills for money. That means what happened is that by having Esmundo Becerra killed, the one who paid for the murder was probably making sure that those who wanted him dead remain unknown and unpunished. Nuevamente impune que no se sepa quién fue el, el autor verdadero, el autor intelectual del asesinato del mundo de Serra, ¿no? Mire, nosotros, eh, es cierto que existe ese rumor, pero nosotros eh, actuamos eh, y It's y true respondemos. that this rumor exists, but we orient ourselves on documents in the files. Cuando nosotros hemos conversado when we spoke with Esmundo Becerra Cotrina's family and other people from the community, no one explained that there was a clear connection between these people who are considered to be responsible for the murder of Esmundo Becerra and the Yana Cocha mine. Los responsabilizan por la muerte de Esmundo Becerra, un vínculo objetivo con Minera Yana Cocha. En lo que sucede, lo curioso es que. The strange thing is that a few days beforehand, the siblings, Rinaldo's sister, sought out a well-known parliamentarian here from Cajamarca and told his staff members that Rinaldo wanted to confess the truth about who paid him to shoot Esmundo Becerra. And strangely enough, one week later, he was found dead. It's true, there are still a few things that we want to clear up that haven't been resolved. In spite of everything that has happened, Esmundo's siblings still want to stay here and don't want to sell the land to the mining company. Fear has become a part of their daily lives. su vida que le fue arrebatada sea la semilla de esperanza de unidad de este pueblo que así como And the struggle against Yanacocha continues for Marco Arana and the farmers whose rights are being trampled on. Por ejemplo, para defender el agua y la vida de esta comunidad. Bueno, Robert, yo creo que la preocupación es Hello, Robert. We're worried that the situation here could escalate. We have to make sure that it stays peaceful despite the expansion of the mine. The rights of the communities here are being violated and the people aren't being taken into account. Isidro Llano's murderer is still at large. On the one hand, there are the accused farmers who might land in prison soon, and at the same time, there is this horrible impunity for the others. In my opinion, 
The real protagonists in this conflict are the farmers. That has to be said and shown again and again. They have their own voice and their own history. I think the farmers need someone that they can trust, who they know is led by a spiritual force. This fight is everyone's fight. You're not alone. You can't give up, but it's a difficult fight. A fight that sometimes seems like what happened to our Lord Jesus Christ, who carried his cross, the weight of the cross. Sometimes he gives us injustice as an answer, although we seek justice. Sometimes when we preach peace, he gives us an answer full of violence. The farmers are holding a protest march along the mine facility. Yanacocha wants to move a path that had connected the farms to the city. That would mean that they would have to make a long detour. Instead of consulting the farmers, communication isn't part of Yanakocha's business philosophy, they hire security guards and install surveillance cameras. Marco Arana can understand the farmers' frustration and demands. The campesinos are defending the path, and the mining company has mobilized special vehicles, the police, the public prosecutor, and the security company Forza, to intimidate the farmers. The campesinos march peacefully and they want to speak with a mining company and ask for an explanation for moving the path. Pedestrians and a few horses on one side. Trucks and minibuses full of police officers on the other. The farmers don't have equal chances in their struggle against the mine. All the gold has made the region poor. Currently, Cajamarca is second on Peru's list of poorest cities. Ten years ago, it was seventh. The gold is sent abroad. Only 1% of Yanacocha's profits stay in the region. The Peruvian government doesn't manage to adequately collect taxes and redistribute the wealth. Because of their own profit, the bosses at the mine continually try to intimidate the people. But in the newspapers, in the press, on the radio and on TV, the picture looks completely different. If you weren't here, they would probably write, Campesinos attack the mine. Or God knows what kind of headline they would come up with. But you know, we're just simple people from the countryside. We're just defending our rights, our land, our water, the things that we have claimed to according to the law. Defending our water or trying to prevent the path from being moved, that's our legal right. Next to the soil, water is the farmer's most important resource. This canal flows from Black Mountain. Two years ago, Yanacocha opened another mine there. The mine owners redirected the canal which the farmers had dug to water their fields for their own use. The farmers protested. There were many conflicts. You can still see the capsules from the tear gas bombs that the police used against the campesinos. The mine owners just said that the canal never existed, but 140 families were dependent on it. I think that part of this conflict is a media war. What worries me are the intentions of the people with cameras. I'm worried about the following. I have a camera, and I also have a camera, but with a gun behind it. I don't know what that'll lead to. 
se puede hacer 